Hello, in this section we're going to discuss the educational opportunities in dental medicine. Dentistry is a wonderful yet demanding profession. Its study requires professionalism, concern and sensitivity to others' needs and feelings, emotional self-control in difficult situations, and the ability to accept criticism with grace and open mind. It also demands the ability to integrate basic and clinical sciences, attention to detail, mastery of good manual dexterity, and last but not least, willingness to take on responsibilities and challenges. Upon graduation from the dental school, one can choose the most incredible dazzling array of career options available to the roughly 160 plus thousand practicing dentists in the US. Many graduates will choose practice as a solo practitioners or in partnership with other colleagues. Within the scope of private practice, some opt to pursue advanced dental education in one of the nine ADA recognized specialties, thus joining the pool of dental specialists compromising roughly 20% of the private practitioners. There are nine recognized dental specialties and we'll describe each one of them. The dental public health is the science and art of preventing and controlling dental diseases and promoting dental health through organized community efforts. Endodontics is the branch of dentistry which is concerned with the morphology, physiology and pathology of the human dental pulp and periradicular tissues. Oral and maxillofacial pathology is the specialty of dentistry and the discipline of pathology that deals with the nature, identification and management of diseases affecting the oral and maxillofacial regions. Oral and maxillofacial radiology is the specialty of dentistry and discipline of radiology concerns with the production and interpretation of images and data produced by all modalities of radiant energy that are used for the diagnosis and management of the diseases. Oral and maxillofacial surgery includes the diagnosis, surgical and adjunctive treatment of disease injuries and defects involving both the function and aesthetic aspects of the heart and soft uh, tissues of the oral and maxillofacial regions. In orthodontics, the specialists uh, does the diagnosis, prevention, interception, and correction of malocclusion, as well as neuromuscular and skeletal abnormalities of the developing or mature orofacial structures. The pediatric dentistry provides both primary and comprehensive preventive treatment and therapeutic oral health for infants, children through adolescence, including those with special health care needs. Periodontics encompasses the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases of the supporting and surrounding tissues of teeth or their substitutes. Prostodontics pertains to the diagnosis, treatment planning, rehabilitation and maintenance of the oral function, comfort, appearance and health of patients with clinical conditions associated with missing or deficient teeth and oral maxillofacial tissues using biocompatible substitutes. These dental specialties require additional postgraduate training ranging in length anywhere from two to six years. The graduate students at times will choose to combine this training with an additional master's or doctorate degree in a related scientific field. Those with strong interest in medicine and collaborative care may opt to practice in a hospital setting. There, they will be providing care to patients with medical conditions and disabilities along physicians' colleagues, often in operating rooms and emergency departments. Academic dentistry is another exciting option available to you. It combines teaching, research, community service, and patient care, and enables you to work in an intellectually stimulating and exciting academic environment. According to a recent American Dental Educational Association report, there were over 200 vacant positions in over 60 dental schools in the United States. Those individuals whose research is their primary passion will be able to conduct it not only in academic institutions, but also in federal facilities such as the National Institute of Craniofacial Research, National Institutes of Health, or in private industry.
Today's dental research includes such exciting areas as postnatal stem research aimed at tissue regeneration, salivary research to produce net diagnostic tests, gene transfer therapy to produce hormones or other agents to prevent or treat oral and systemic diseases, and studies of labs on chip for intraoral analysis of different components in oral fluids as early indicators or of oral and systemic diseases, to name just a few. In my own field of periodontology, an exciting new area dealing with the impact of periodontal infection on the systemic health of an individual is constantly expanding. The role of the subgingival environment as a reservoir of bacteria in the periodontal patient provokes host response, which has been implicated in such diverse conditions as coronary heart disease, arteriosclerosis, myocardial infection, stroke, diabetes mellitus, and low birth infants in pregnant women. Some of you may want to join the field of public health dentistry. This career focuses on community settings rather than on private practice. The public health dentist promotes dental health, develops health policy, and is involved in disease prevention. Public health dentists are able to work in such diverse settings as research and teaching institutes, Indian reservations, Coast Guard, and others. Perhaps the least publicized practice venue opportunities are in the area of international healthcare. Today's dentists provide services to such agencies as the World Health Organization, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, and the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Many dentists also volunteer to provide dentistry to people in third world countries. No matter which pathway one chooses, the dental graduate will join a proud profession, highly esteemed by the public at large. He or she will be able to help people maintain and improve their oral health, quality of appearance, and indeed the quality of life.